Vengeance Sound's VPS Avenger is a powerful hybrid synth combining analog, wavetable and sample-based synthesis in an epic architecture supplemented by an enormous modulation system, 32 high-quality effects and even a drum machine. Up to eight ultra-flexible oscillators can be layered into one or more huge stacked tones or sequenced individually with eight onboard arpeggiators. Each oscillator has its own end-to-end -end signal flow through any of a shared bank of filters, amps, distortion modules and effects while an extensive array of modulators can be assigned to as many parameters from throughout the entire synth as you like. In this series of videos, we'll show you some of the impressive tricks that Vengeance's amazing virtual instrument can pull off, from layering polyrhythmic arpeggiators and massively modulating a pad, to trance gating and putting together a multi-timbral groove patch. In this video, we'll get polyrhythmic with a pair of arpeggiators. VPS Avenger's multiple discrete oscillators, arpeggiators and step sequences make it an absolute monster when it comes to polyrhythmic layering, that is, stacking pattern-based parts running in different time signatures. Start by drawing a 64 bar long D minor chord into a MIDI clip in your door, D, F, A, D, and loading the two synths patch from tutorial files. This is a simple two-layered patch with oscillators 1 and 2 routed to VPS Avengers Arpeggiator 1 for an upward four-note arpeggio and a drum pattern playing alongside. Click to the ARP page in the central display. The default arpeggio is eight steps long with no pitch offset. Let's mess it up a bit. Each of the green blocks in the arpeggiator represents the offset of the arpeggiated note triggered by that step. So by moving them up and down, we can reshape the note progression. Drag the zero at the bottom of step two down to minus five to drop it five semitones. The zero at the bottom of step four up to seven to raise it seven semitones. And drag the green block itself on step six up one step to raise it an octave. Set the arpeggiator's pattern length knob to 7 and the 4-note arpeggio takes on a whole new character. It now restarts after 7 16th notes and thus is no longer divisible by the number of notes in the chord resulting in a different pattern each time round, resetting every seven bars, and when the chord is re-triggered every 64 bars, of course. Now click the plus button next to ARP1 in the ARP tab to add a second arpeggiator. Load it with the basic baseline 2 preset from the menu at the top right of the ARP tab, and assign oscillator 2 to it by clicking ARP1 in its root panel and switching to ARP2. With its nine active steps, the notes of ARP2 change from bar to bar as the four note chord shifts them each time round. Lowering the pattern length from 16 to 15, however, and deleting the last block regulates the note cycle, eight steps being divisible by four notes, but knocks the timing out of sync with the bar lines. The end result is a funky dual-arp polyrhythm that only fully resets on the downbeat every 105 bars. <laughs> 